when I first heard the song, I said, guy, I said, this is some vulgar. I'm a yeah. vulgar person. <laughs> yeah. So, so when a vulgar person says, this is, this is, some, this is some vulgar shit. Uh, but at the same time, it's a good song. And I respect them. I feel like people should have the freedom to do and express themselves however they want to. And and I played it twice. <laughs> well, well, here's the deal. Now go walk in your uh, your daughter's room, <laughs> and if you see this way that ah, you... <laughs> I want to walk in on my daughter, and just just seven, just, just hold now you, up. You, I pull that you belt come out so in and she and you come out, she be like this way that <laughs> no. dad. No. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> there's some hoes in this. Somebody, <laughs> somebody did teach you how to twerk, though. I said, "What the fuck? Who taught there's... you how to twerk? I'm like, what are you doing? I had, look she... what I can do." <laughs> they very impressed. Ah, that's why my baby gonna be homeschooled. Straight up, uh, she homeschooled during this COVID. She ain't going to no school. Yeah, she gone. She caught. She she <laughs> she must have peeked in. While you and Mom Dukes was in there. <laughs> hey, what what's the best piece of advice Keenan has ever given you? Cause he he uh. started he started this uh when it comes to like moving out the Hollywood show business for the Wayne's family. Man. Uh. Keenan, you know it's funny, he probably it's, it's, it's like, You're like he, he doesn't talk to me. No, 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 I know, right? I actually don't know my uncle. He, um, <laughs> he taught me a lot of things silently. Mm. And so um, I'm, I'm, I'm a person that, so I, he's always been somebody I looked up to because when it came to acting and stuff like that, there was just, I knew I didn't have certain things in me to do whatever it took to get into that. So I, I wouldn't like, not saying everybody sell themselves out or anything like that, but there was just certain roles or certain things that I didn't feel comfortable with doing. But I know there's people out there that live and breathe this. So I say that to say watching him be a creative and a developer and stuff like that made me go, I want to do that because I can always add myself into scripts mm. that I create. And that's more money. So I can either be in the back making things happen and put myself in whenever I want to, or I could just let other people rock out. Right. And it, it was just so dope, because low key, he has the more calm life, in a way. Mm -hmm. Do you, <clears throat> do you think, I tried, to, I tried to get Marlon, I said, man, why don't y'all do the Waynes of comedy the way they did the Kings? And I'm sure this is something your family has talked about. They did uh, that. No, 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 no. I mean, shoot a special like. Oh, with everybody. Yeah, with every with Keenan, Damon, Marlon, Sean, you, Damon Junior. If y'all want to get on there, like, do you think that would ever happen? I think probably not now. Uh, one, you know, it's really frustrating to be censored the way it's happening, and they come from such a. Uh, you know, explosive era where they, they were fearless with that. Um, so some people feel like I don't even want to do this because it's, it's too much out there. Also, we're all kind of alphas. So mm. everybody has different ideas of how they want to do stuff. So as, as we work well together, everybody is so powerful in their own way that they want to be out on their own doing stuff. Gotcha. So you don't think like there might be a Wayne's Cause I mean, people used to look forward to like a Wayne's film. You know what I'm saying? Like the world was like, you like, nah. I mean, it's, yeah, it technically happened already, but it just, you know, it was, it was between them. But it's, it's, you know. Well, what about the second generation? What you and your brother and and Craig and Damon Jr. You all, you think you all may ever come together to work on a project to kind of. I think so. I mm -hmm. think so. Um, I mean, every the again, our family is so creative in, in all different ways that everybody's doing something. My brother's developing something. My cousin is doing it. So I think because we have all all our different ideas, mm -hmm. that it's just harder to be like, oh, well, stop what you're doing and let's go work on this. I think once we both we, we all kind of get our stuff out, then we can kind of come together and do it. Gotcha. 
Yeah, that's something me and my homeboys talk about, you know, trying to um, build each other up and then come together. Well, nah, I take that back. Me and my homeboys, we on, we on a united, mm-hmm. we on a united front, front right now. But, but it's, I, but that's cool. It's just you, you, when you have certain egos, and when I, I mean that in a good way, but because everybody is like an alpha in that department sometimes that could be, you know, difficult to work with in certain things. Cause everybody is like, I have this idea. I want to do it this way. You know what I mean? No, I, I get it. Um, somebody got to be submissive. Somebody got to be like, all right, well we do yo. <laughs> we go do your idea. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, look, this is me. This is me trying to get one. You done. the worst one. <laughs> Who? You the worst you. What you mean? The, the fact the fact that you like, yeah, you know, we trying to come into unity. You are so, uh, you were such an alpha and you do stuff the way you do it. You you put people in your shit. <laughs> but I, somebody was like, hey, Justin, man, I got this idea. Yeah, half-baked is cool. <laughs> but when you finish half-baked, can we do it? You be like, nigga, I'm, you got my I don't know if that's true. My, I'm trying to, now, I'm going to be honest. When I used to do YouTube videos back in the day, I was like that. Only be, but I did one of your YouTube videos. No, you. Did. I'm not saying you won't do stuff for people. I'm right. saying you're you're a leader in a way that another leader is kind of hard to work with because you already have your vision. I'm a I'm a agree and disagree, and this is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I agree that I am a leader. And I do have my vision. However, I'm also somebody who prides myself on knowing how to play my position. Um, and if something is a great, and I feel like all great leaders know how to follow, um, as long as they feel like they're being led in the right direction. Uh, and that comes to, you know, any great leader, any great businessman will tell you, surround yourself with people who are equal to, if not better and smarter than you are. Um, right. and, and sometimes that is to help your vision, of course. Um, but also, and I mean this, uh, if somebody comes to me with the idea that I feel like is great, I'll put down my, let's say we have similar ideas. You see what I'm saying? That almost happened. I'll give you a story. Um, here's a story that people don't know. The show White Famous came on Showtime. Right. Jay Farrell was the, the, the star of it. And uh, Jamie Foxx was one of the executive producers. I wrote a script. Before I shot Rush Hour, this was my just in case Rush Hour gets canceled. Here's <laughs> my own TV show. Right. I let my reps read it at the time. My reps at the time, no longer with them. But my reps at the time, they read it. They thought it was so good. They called me into the building. They had damn near to all the agencies, all the agents at the agency yeah. come meet me. You all, we need, you need to meet Justin Hires. This dude wrote a script. He's an actual writer. This is before people knew I was a writer, writer. Like, like I right. said, I like mentioned Half Bay too. So people know that I'm like a legit writer also. Right. They was like, he is a writer, writer. So I said, cool. Rush hour, fast forward, rush hour gets canceled. Right. That was like, oh, before that, they was like, Justin, we gonna go forward with this. If Rush Hour gets canceled, we going full steam ahead with your show idea. Dope. Rush Hour gets canceled. Exactly the same time Rush Hour get canceled, White Famous pops up on Deadline. White Famous idea was so similar to my show idea. I hit up my reps. I said, hey, yo, we got to get the ball rolling on on um on my show mine was called comedy rock stars i said yo we got it we got the <laughs> better name uh i said yo mm-hmm. we got <laughs> i said yo we got to get the ball <laughs> rolling i feel like it was a better name i said we got to get the ball rolling on comedy rock stars well let's see i said i tell you what let me read white famous i said if white famous is better than comedy rock stars i'll put down my project and i'll just go audition for white famous because i feel i already know i feel like that's a good idea for a TV show. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was me lessening my ego. You see what I'm saying? That was me still saying, yo, if this project is better, fuck, fuck what I'm doing. I'm all right. I'm all about playing my position. If I gotta go through the process of, of auditioning, I do that. I read the script, I could tell whoever wrote the script wasn't from the culture. That's what I'll say. I could tell 
the, the show was about an African-American comedian, but the way it was written, I could tell whoever wrote this wasn't African-American. You're mm-hmm. writing how you think a black person sound, not right. actually how a black person sound. So right. I said all of that to say that although I am an alpha male, for sure, that's, that's without question. If someone comes to me, what I feel like is a great idea, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, that's what MacGyver is. You know, I went from being number one on the call sheet to being number five on the call sheet when it first started. I'm number three on the call sheet now. But right. that was still me falling back and saying, you know what? Let me be a part of a team of somebody so we could go win a championship. Justin, I'm going to just say this for the, for the world. That's, that was a um, horrible-ass example. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what you just did. <laughs> you said, hey, listen, if Eddie Murphy and, uh, and Dave Chappelle come up to me with a better idea, then, um, of course, I'm going to fall back. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> this unity <laughs> that you are creating with a nigga with 205 followers. <laughs> God damn it. No, no, no. Wait a minute. I was, nice. I was just the star of a TV show when that happened. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, young lady. <laughs> First of all, you are loyal as hell to your friends, so I'm not saying I'm not saying that to put anybody down. But oh, oh, I see what you said. The saying. way yeah, yeah. the way you said it was just like, yeah, man. Listen, if if God's script is better than mine, I'm talking about Pedro, nigga. I'm talking about. <laughs> let me tell you how. Let me tell you how. I still disagree with you. Let me. I know this for a fact. My barber. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, my first of all, we didn't barber. What? Who? What does your barber do? Celebrities hair? He does. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you hear right there. Listen. <laughs> Listen, my barber. Yeah, brought me a show idea. Uh huh. <laughs> I told him I was all for it. Right. Okay. Right. He sent it to me. I gave him mm-hmm. notes and I was like, mm-hmm. make these adjustments. I will for sure take it in there and attach my name. So any, anybody, I feel like anybody that has a great, this is me for real. I don't care if it's a homeless person. If a homeless person came up to me right now and he delivered a great idea. If I thought his TV show idea was better than my TV show idea, I say, you know what? Let me freeze that real quick. Let me help develop this and get this on the air. Did the homeless person used to be a celebrity? (laughs) (laughs) He was. (laughs) He was. But that's neither here nor there. (laughs) Yo. Oh, my gosh. The the light-skinned nigga from New York undercover. Is it? (laughs) Where is he? Oh my god! <laughs> Shout out to him, man. Shout out to New York. Oh come up. my gosh! Um, was he in Puerto Rican? <laughs> the Puerto Rican, any Puerto Rican, if any Puerto Rican homeless dude came up to me, oh my gosh! And, and said, oh "So my gosh. I said all of this to say this. <laughs> I'm gonna ask y'all, the Waynes, at least the second generation, <laughs> to all y'all to put y'all ideas in a hat, and y'all niggas need to vote." And whoever, Who's gonna do it? Huh? You said whoever what? Y'all need to vote. Tell them to toss egos aside. Vote on who think the I. No, no, y'all need extra. No, no, no. This is how you do it. I got how you do it. I got how you do it. The second generation Waynes put the ideas, present the ideas to the older first generation Waynes. All y'all vote. So their vote is going to outweigh. You see what I'm saying? Like, because y'all just go probably vote for y'all shit. Like, I got the best idea. No, I got the best idea. You get, you get all the first generation Waynes to also say, no, nah, Damon Jr. idea was better. No, nah, Shantae. And then all the second, the rest of the second generation fall back, put egos aside, come together to work on that one movie. Bam. We got the second generation Waynes. Films popping off. Or, or you can just do your own shit and be your own person. <laughs> so after, after 38 years 
Um, you look good um, if you're 38. People are already having this uh, idea. I know. You know, I love how people, let me tell you something, Justin. <laughs> this how, this how you could have sold comedic rock stars, okay? Okay, I'm listening. If you would have asked, yo. <laughs> I'm pulling up my chair. I'm, I'm trying to get close. I'm nah. pulling up my chair. Wait a minute, I'm listening. No, because, <laughs> because I, what I want to say is it's not about our egos in a sense that we don't want to work with each other. It's not, it's not that at all. It's the fact that I, I think. No, I, you and I know, wasn't, you know I wasn't the saying mind. it like that. I wasn't saying it like that. No, 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 no. I just want to make that clear before somebody twists those words, but you know how the your mind works. And it's like, you're, you're on a certain prize that you want to do. So I, what I feel like is why put 10, 15 Wayans into one project when you could be taking over different platforms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? One of y'all could be Disney, one of y'all could be Apple. I get it, I get it. It it, it makes no, that's that's the real empire of it all is to take over digital uh, acting, you know, model, whatever the case may be uh, and and separate everybody so that collectively the the money grows more within our family tree. Who's the Bobby Brown out of the family? (laughs) Me. You'd buy it right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the one that can't get right. That's <laughs> right. I'm the one that can't. Um, well, Bobby Brown was the star, though. Bobby Brown, a beast now. We don't really have that. We don't really, everybody is, you know, everybody You're all is equal cons- stars, though. Thank you. No, straight. I mean, come on. Thank Back you. Wayne's. <laughs> <laughs> Even our corniest wins. No. <laughs> that well, you know, that gets me to a point about the <laughs> not the corniest wins. This was this was a question I had that I thought about. How honest are you all able to be when it comes to giving feedback? So, like, if somebody, one of y'all, do a film or a project, how honest are y'all to be like, "Yo, that one wasn't as good"? Are y'all able to be honest with each other like we that? We always kinda- say that. Okay. We always say stuff, but at the end of the day, you're going to do what you're going to do. Right. You know what I mean? There, there was people around, you know, somebody that was like trying to punch up stuff and do stuff. And I was, I would be like, it just ain't this, this is the beauty about having a Wayans family on set with a Wayans. And that's the only, the only thing about if we all did come together, we know each other so well. We grew, even second, a lot of second generation grew up with them as they were becoming famous. So we know each other so well. Somebody could write something for them and you just go, that, that's just not you.